Sup, papas? So, this whole thing about the smear campaign they've launched, if you haven't noticed, there's a pattern with all of these stalkers that attack me at the same time and the same clock hour time span. They all came out of nowhere. I have 13 subscribers. It was none of them. And a lot of it involved them trying to say, and the fucking chief handler does this. And that group were obviously on uh, one side of the fucking coin there. You know? These are some fascists. And... They all accuse me of meth or crack use, which I've never even fucking seen meth or crack in my life. I've never seen anyone use it. I've never seen the substance. I've never used either substance. I don't know anything about that shit. But that would explain away what happened to my mouth. Now, I'm gonna warn you it's going to get graphic. It's If you're squeamish, you fucking just stop listening right now. Because in a previous video, in the recent past, I talked about how I had blisters in my mouth. Now, these blisters weren't associated with any sort of abscess because it was just gums. And it was on top of the gums. And it was, then there was another one a little bit off to the side at the top on the other side. And they were blisters like burns. So now those areas are exposed jawbone. Those areas, those two areas where I had blisters are now bare bone. Once the blisters went away, zip, they burned my gums. So they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that, you know, what they've done. They want you to think that I did that to my mouth by smoking meth or crack. They're trying to cover up for what they've done, but it's too late. It's too late. And I mean, come on, man. If I were doing crack or meth, and I'm not being vain here. It is what it is. I Would I be, I always say I'm 50, but you know, on my birth certificate, according to that, I'm 49, going on 50. We'll just round it up. At 50 fucking years old, do you think I'm going to have skin like this? If I, I have been or I am a, a crack or a meth user? I mean, come on. No one buys your fucking bullshit. But, you know, I got to call it out. So, yeah, that's what they did. And it's extremely painful. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know what they're going to do about that besides I don't know if they can graft it or what but it's it's gory man it's really fucking gory what they did and if people find out which they are the truth they know that people they are going to be angry. They're going to be outraged. It's fucking, it's the assaults on myself, other TIs are brutal. They're brutal. They fucking burned down on my jawbone, man. There was no extraction there, you know, to cause that, you know, where bone would be exposed. I've had surgery, but it, not there, not even close to there. Though that's where those blisters were located, and now there's no gums at all, 
Now you could see the bone. I could feel it with my tongue. And I'm afraid to fucking look at it. I'm af- I, I have. And I can't really look at it. I did once, and that was enough. It's like a fucking horror movie. They don't want you to know that. They want you to think that I did that to myself. And I can assure you that I didn't. And I can assure you that my hygiene was proper as well. (laughs) My entire life. So... Yep. Just need to talk about that and, and put that out there. You know, it's it's not stuff I really like to talk about. I don't even like to think about it, but it's my reality. And it's what they've done. And 